Hello, Advanced Word Weekly Revision Exercises, Section 11, um, we're doing Mail Merge. So, Question 28 asks us to open up the file showroom and if prompted, select Yes with regard to it being uh, linked and updated. Access the Data Source Customer List and then use the following rule. If the, if the city is Sunderland, then insert Park Lane Showroom, otherwise insert North Road Showroom in between the words to and on. Save the merged documents as showroom letters and then save and close all documents. If you need any help just uh, refer to the CIA manual page 1. So we're going to use showroom document from weekly revision uh, work file so double click on showroom. As it says in the question if prompted um, click on yes uh, and we can see that because uh, it's a mail merge question, mail merge, we need to go straight into the mailings tab. Um, notice that because this has got, um, if I just use this feature here, we can see that recipient list is actually in here, and there it is, and it's got the customer list there. So we can also see that there's a recipient list in here, a data source, or lots of different languages used for the, the source that's coming through, because we um, can see it through the edit recipients and you can see them there. If it wasn't in the Word document in a, in a test question, then obviously you would have to bring it through, go into use existing, um, go through, navigate to your um, area, and then bring it in through that way. But we're luckily have uh, the customer list in here already and we can see that because we can see the different people in there and we can actually see the list through here too. So sometimes in test questions they may ask you to do something with regard to sorting etc with the recipient list but in this one um, we're just going to to leave the recipients as they are and deal with a rule. So, as the question asks us, there is an area on the uh, letter that has a space there and ready for putting something according to a rule. So, firstly we go to the uh, place our cursor, go to the rules and we're using the if, then or else. So, the question talked about city field, so if we drop down and look at city there and it said that if the city was equal to Sunderland so we type in Sunderland there then it wants us to insert um, Park Lane showroom or else if it's not Sunderland in other words it wants us to use North Road showroom so in other words, what the question is going to do, what this rule is going to do, is if the city field here isn't Sunderland, it'll have North Road showroom, but if it does meet the criteria, then it will have Park Lane showroom. So obviously it depends on the city, it depends where you're going with regard to your visit um, regarding your car. So if we OK, uh, you can see that the first one um, has been inputted and it's North Showroom due to the fact that it's got Newcastle and not Sunderland in that first one. If we preview and go through um, we can see that if it changes to um, Sunderland then we will get Park Lane Showroom. So it's worked. If we wanted to at this stage we could also uh, format that. The first letter we could go to Home, Format Painter and we could make sure that the um, the formatting is the same just by sweeping over it like that so it meets the, the letter if you like. Okay, so we've done our first one. Remember any editing with regard to mail merge must be done on the original um, standard letter, the first one, um, before any merging takes place because once an error is in there it will stay in there um, according to all of it. So what we've got to do next then, once we've done our rule, is we need to merge all of the letters. So we go to the finish and merge and it's asked us to merge to a new document. If you hover on there, that's exactly what it will do. And it's asked us to save these documents as showroom letters. So let's click on there. It's going, we're going to do all of them. So we click through. And then there they are. If we hover down, uh, roll, scroll down, you can see 
um, all of those different letters are all being done there and then we just go on to do uh, file save as, browse etc etc and save them so that's the end of the mail merge uh, using the rules if then or else